What is your beer of the week this week, Mr. David? I have. It's called Velvet Bubble Lord by Flying oh. Monkeys Craft Brewery. I've heard of Flying it, Monkeys. That's good yeah, stuff. I've, I think I've had some of their stuff. Never had nor heard of this. It is, the description says, fresh blueberry puree and citrus lemon verbena flow with velvety bubbles and fruity magenta buoyancy with tart gamay quips in antanic pino noir repartee. <laughs> what the David, is this? David, David, David. It's a blueberry sour. Perfect. That's all we needed. I was can we see the can? To, we can see the can. Oh, man. That's like some, like, yellow submarine beetle trippiness This is what going I was trying there. to read if anybody wants to screenshot that and try to say half the words that are in there. Or define them, because you the lost me. What the fuck is repartee? Mm-hmm. Closing with acidic floral whispers. Well, if you don't feel and taste all of those words that I've never heard of, then they did not do their job. So I like I like this. Look what they put on the can here. If you can, can you the see a little flying it? monkey? No, there's a little saying above flying. What's it say? There you go. Can you Blueberry? see it? No, it says normal is weird. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Velvet. I like bubble. that too. What a name. Well, Strong give us a taste. Are... We're waiting. Huh, I'm letting. I'm trying to let my barm die down here. Ah, uh, your barm. Like three quarters. I guess I'll go ahead and take a sip. Let's see, it's very bubbly. He's got a good nod to his head, like he's enjoying it. It's good. I, mm-hmm. Again, it's it's a sour, so it's got to it's got to suck for me to not like it. Okay, it's good. I don't know the uh, I don't know that an adjective exists to describe it. Not the flavor, but the the feeling. Like it's bubbly, but it's not like it's like bubbles. You know when you, your mom goes to the store and she buys you bubbles and she brings them home, and it's like the <laughs> off brand ones. Wait, so wait, you wait. blow them and they like oh, okay. pop immediately. Okay, those like kind they of don't bubbles. go. Okay. They don't go like you know. Floating in in the abyss for like Dollar Tree forever. bubbles, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like it's like it's like the Rose Art equivalent of bubbles. <laughs> You're like, mom, I wanted <laughs> I wanted Crayola, but you get the bullshit Rose Art. It's like that's like I the taste. Thought of Rose Art since the '90s. <laughs> since your mom got a bad paycheck when you were first grade, yeah, that's right. But it's like that, like the bubbles. It's like very bubbly for like a split second. How about out of out of ten? Give it an eight, eight and a half. Oh. So pretty flavor darn good. Flavor wise, yeah, flavor wise is great. It's just it's okay. a it's a weird like bubbly, then not kind of. So maybe all those words they were talking about, they just meant trying it's to describe the way. It's bubbly, yeah, yeah. Because I don't really know what to say, and it sounds like they didn't really know what to say. Okay, but eight eight and a half. We'll give it beer. eight and a half. Yeah, drink it again. I'm I'm gonna drink it again. Nice. Okay. All right. How about you? What do we got? Um, I have a. It's called Bears on Rampage. Bears on a Rampage. Sounds dangerous. Once again, I am brought to you by Hidden Springs Ale Works. I've been on their... They ain't going to be hiding a whole lot longer. Their train for the past, what, three episodes now. Um, It is a sour ale with strawberries, blueberries, honey, and vanilla. So there's your Bears on a Rampage. Bam, I think bam, I might have had that one when I was there. Oh, really? Yeah. It sounds well, familiar. Let's give her a taste. Let me know. Mm. Mm. Sounds like Super- a nine. Nine and a half. Super strawberry. Okay. So maybe like a 9.3. On the back is the blueberry. I could not tell you where the honey and the vanilla are in this. Um, on a scale of sour, when it comes to sours, that is tart. Tart. Um, but it's also really good. It's really good. Where are we putting it? Ugh. Ooh, High enough to take my, another sip. Man, my butt cheeks are puckering. Um... I'm going to be right with you. I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's, no, it's, it. it's good, um, but it is tart. I love the I love the tart too. I love that. I mean, you know me, I'd take my <laughs> shot of vinegar every day. I love that stuff. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, I could see myself really enjoying it after I've like already been drinking. And it gives me like that little bit of like, oh, I can taste again. You know, you've yeah, been drinking, you can't taste yeah. anything anymore. Yeah. I think it would give me that little extra, that little edge. Um, okay. So, bears so on a rampage, and eight and a half. Yeah, it's good. Okay.